Oh, fantastic vocals. Uh, um, let me just uh, tell you that uh, uh, she's a model, a TV presenter, a yoga teacher, our news panelist, and now she's also a hit maker. It's our very own uh, Sharon Gidda. Good evening, Sharon. Hi, Sadi. Hey, Sharon, long time no hear, no see. Um, you've been very, very busy. I have, I have indeed, but I'm never too far from Derby. So uh, it's great to be back on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know, Sharon, this uh, track came out of nowhere and uh, I saw it um, being kind of uh, trending on social media. And I thought, hang on, um, Sharon, singing? W w when did the singing kind of uh, bug take you? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if I ever mentioned it in the past on, uh, you know, when I've been on the show, but I... I um, have always loved music, always loved dance, and uh, I grew up singing and dancing. And luckily, 10 years ago, I, I found a teacher and I, I began to learn on and off. And uh, it really just stuck with me, Sadie. And I think somewhere behind the modeling and behind the presenting, music was, uh, you know, definitely a calling for me. Mm. Uh, what's the response been like so far from people that you know? Well, I did keep it a bit quiet because... I, I knew I was going to put something out, but I really just didn't know when. So I think like yourself, it was a bit of a shock to everyone. Um, but the response has just been so overwhelming. I had to overcome some fears to, you know, put my work out as an artist. And I had zero expectations, but I've received so much love, so much positive energy. It's just been really, really a blessing. It's doing exceptionally well on uh, online at the moment. You must be really pleased. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. Um, of course, this is my first track, so I have nothing to compare it against. It was just something I had written myself. And, uh, you know, we've got Roach Killer on the production. I really admire him as a artist and as a producer. And when we worked together, we created something that I was really happy with. So I'm just really grateful that people have, you know, it's resonated with people and they're they're feeling the, feeling the track. Uh, you know, Sharon, we, we all kind of uh, like to uh, blast a few tunes in the shower, etc. But when did you realize that you actually had talent for singing? Oh, that's, you never really think you have talent, you just enjoy it, right? So growing up, uh, you know, I, I grew up in Canada and I grew up in India, so I, there were a lot of musical influences in my life. And my mom and dad used to listen to all different genres of Indian music and Indian classical music as well. So in my school days, I would sing with my friends and uh, they would be like, you know, go on, Sharon, sing us a song. And I was so shy. And I used to sing, but it wasn't until I moved to Mumbai and uh, by pure coincidence or maybe not coincidence, I, I found a music teacher who really encouraged me to take music seriously. And when I began to learn, you know, you start to respect music so much more. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I could learn as much as I could mm. before you know, it was time to put something out. And in this track, uh, you know, you've demonstrated your bilingualism uh, by combining uh, Hindi lyrics uh, and English lyrics. Um, presumably, that was pretty easy for you. Yeah, well, uh, you know, growing up, of course, English is my first language, being born in the UK and growing up in Canada. But then in India, there was a huge Punjabi and uh, Hindi influence because I had to learn to read and write as well. So, it took me a while when I decided to, you know, put music out that like, am I going to write something in Punjabi? Am I going to write in Hindi? Am I going to write in English? But I really just kind of let go of any kind of, uh, you know, structure and just whatever came. I just tried to articulate myself in, in, in whichever language <laughs> I could, really. Uh, Sharon, I did say that you're a model TV presenter, yoga teacher, a news panelist, um, now uh, a, a singer. What I forgot to mention is that you're also a dancer because... Uh, I've seen your video to this track and uh, you can move. <laughs> yeah, and you know, actually, Sadie, I grew up singing and dancing, like I said, you know, uh, through my school days, we learned different um, forms of dance, but I hadn't danced for such a long time. But, you know, I can't expect other people to dance to the song if I'm not dancing to it myself. <laughs> so I had some amazing, amazing dancers and choreographers who came on board and they 
they got me to move in a way that I didn't think I could dance anymore. But oh. yeah, it, it, it all came through. I was trying to figure out to where the video was shot. Um, where, where was it shot? Because you're all over the place in it, uh, you know, all different kind of scenes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, basically the song was recorded last year um, at the beginning of lockdown. So once the track was ready, I was quite keen to shoot, but obviously due to all the restrictions, um, we weren't able to go abroad and shoot. So it took some time kind of getting a team together. And in the end, we ended up shooting in London, in fact. Um, but we went out um, looking for, you know, interesting locations. And I wanted it to be quite diverse in terms of, you know, the locations. And some people uh, don't even realize or they can't believe that it was shot in London because our videographer was just so amazing as well with capturing it all from a visual point of view. But yeah, it was all uh, primarily West London. Uh, was it a song that you wanted to do or was the did somebody kind of give you the song and said, look, we'd like you to do this? How, how did it come about? So... Um, Prior to recording the song, I had been, like I said, you know, learning to write songs, trying to, you know, learn more about the language and the correct way to articulate, you know, myself in Punjabi and English and everything. So I already had the hook, the hook, which is, uh, mm -hmm. so that was already there. And uh, when I approached Roach, I kind of had an idea of what kind of vibe I wanted. So what instruments, what melodies, and I just kind of gave it to him to kind of come back to me. And then we really just started to build on the song from the hook. But the message was definitely intentional. So, Sharon, with all the career options that there are open to you, because uh, you're kind of multi-talented, which one will it be? Or are you going to combine all of them? I feel, um, to be honest, I, the way forward for me now is music. And I feel like this was part of my destination. In fact, even when I initially started presenting, it was through modeling. But um, I... I I was drawn towards entertaining and I never knew whether what that would be through, whether it's through being a presenter, whether it's through being a model. But after, um, you know, putting this music out, it just I felt very aligned. I felt like this is where I want to be, at least for now. So the future is definitely more music for me. Well, the future is not just more music. Future is very, very bright. Uh, Sharon, get ready uh, for your Thank stardom. You so Thank you so much. It's <laughs> excellent. We enjoyed playing it last week. We enjoyed playing it. Thank this week you. i'm going to enjoy playing it right now and uh, wish you the best of luck thank you thank you thank you so much sadi thank you everyone <laughs>